Setting up modded Minecraft servers is really not that difficult, which is why in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own MC Eternal modded Minecraft server on Windows for you and your friends to play on. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? I currently have my main vanilla server and 15 modded Minecraft servers up and running right now. But by the end of this, I plan to have well over 150 total servers running at once. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it. Okay, back to the video. Step number one in setting up any modded Minecraft server is to download the modded Minecraft server files. The easiest place to do that for MC Eternal is by going to curseforge.com. Now once you're on curseforge, you're gonna click on Minecraft and then you're gonna search up here for MC Eternal. It'll be this first link that shows up. You're gonna wanna click on the mod pack, click on files, and then you're gonna scroll down here until you see server pack. And you're gonna click download on that and it'll begin the download for you. Now while your mod pack files are downloading, it's a perfect time to install Java. So open up another tab, search for Java 8 download, and then click on the first link right here. Scroll down until you see the Windows 64-bit installer, click on that and download it. Now I already have Java installed, so I won't walk you through that process. Um, but installing Java is really easy. It's literally just clicking next until it's all the way installed. If you have any questions about what version of Java is installed, if you open up a command prompt window and then run the command Java dash version, it'll show you what version of Java is installed. Now, I would also highly recommend making some sort of a folder for this mod pack, especially if you intend on setting a multiple mod packs, it makes it a lot easier if each one has its own directory, uh, so everything can stay contained within that one folder. So the next step would be to right click on the file you just downloaded once it's in the folder you want it to be in, click on properties, check the unblock, apply, okay, and right click again, we're gonna click extract here. So once your mod pack has finished extracting, it'll look something like this. From here, all you have to do is double click the launch server.bat. This will start installing your server for you for the first time. Now it will catch on the fact that you have not accepted the EULA yet. So you have to close out of this and it'll now have it downloaded for you. Double click that, change the false to true and save it. Now, when you double click the launch server.bat again, it'll actually start downloading everything for your server and launch it for the first time. So that's really all you have to do for actually launching the server. Now, in order for people to join this server, if they're on your local home network, they can use your local IP address for whatever computer this is. However, if you want your friends that are not living in your house to be able to join your server, you'll need to set up port forwarding. Now, I wish there was like a catch-all single way to do this for every single router, but unfortunately there's not. The easiest way to figure out how to do this for you is to Google how to set up port forwarding for your specific router model. You're gonna to wanna to set this up for the IP address of the computer that you're running the server on and the port 25565. It's the default Minecraft port that this server will be using. Now, once you've got the server running and port forwarding set up, the only things your friends will need to have is your public IP address in order to join this server. Easiest way to find your public IP address is by going to Google and searching for what is my public IP address. The first link is gonna pull up exactly what that is. You can send it via text, via Discord, whatever you wanna do to get it to your friends, but that's what they're gonna need to put into the uh, Minecraft server address box when they're adding the multiplayer server to their specific client. Now, like we talked about earlier, there is a chance that you're gonna figure out that you can't quite run the server side of this mod pack and the client side at the exact same time. If that's the case, feel free to hop on over to my Discord. We're gonna have a server that's live for you and your friends to play on if you want to. Also, it's important to note that if you have any technical issues with this, uh, everybody has a slightly different issue every time. But if you do have issues, you're more than welcome to leave those down in the comment section below, or you can come to my Discord. There's gonna be a text channel in there specifically for asking questions. You can create a ticket, whatever you need to do to get your issue out there so that we can help you resolve that. Other than that, you should be totally good to go. Your server's running, your friends can join it with your public IP address, and you should be ready to have a whole lot of fun on MC eternal so you made it this far in the video you might as well go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one